Hello, this is Furimori7. In this third part of the recruit guide, I'm going to show you how to level up your recruits all the way up to Assassin. Now the first method is one that I've already talked about in the previous video, and that is using your abilities. Uh, you need to be careful when you uh, use your abilities when your assassins are low level, because they may end up getting injured. You may have to assign more than one assassin to a group of guards when they're at low level. But when they're at a high level, you will be able to... Uh, assign one recruit to kill a whole bunch of guards, like right here. You can see that this recruit is fighting off against 16 or more guards all at once, and uh, he's able to fight against all of them at once without uh, taking too much damage. Uh, remember that your recruits get approximately 10 experience points per kill, but they only get those points if they survive the fight and they're able to run away afterwards. So if they get injured, you won't be able to get uh, the experience points. If you want to learn more about injuries, uh, click the previous button at the top of the screen and it will show you what I'm talking about. So after all, fighting all those guards by himself, it's not surprising that he <clears throat> increased a rank, and he also increased a rank assassin, as you can see up there. Now the next method I'm going to show you for leveling up is by using the contract menu. You can go to your contract menu at any time, and you're going to select a region, and once you select a region, you're going to scroll through the list of contracts. Now if this is the first time doing contracts in this region, you'll only be able to do the first one on the list. You'll be able to do so the subsequent ones after you finish the first one. Once you do that, you'll be able to see several things. You can see the time up here that it'll take you to finish, take your recruits to finish the contract, and you can see down here all the rewards that you will get if you finish the contract successfully and over here you can see that as you select different recruits uh, you can see the the number of EXP that they have and you can see the weapons that they carry different recruits carry different weapons and some weapons will be better in certain missions than others after after uh, that happens you're going to see the pop-up on the upper right hand corner and it'll say that the mission was finished and then you'll be able to go to your contract page and you'll be able to see the information the rewards and whether the contract succeeded or failed remember to you need to watch your risk percentage because your risk percentage will tell you if you're going to succeed or fail <clears throat> now the other method I'm going to show you was by sending your assassin recruits to defend your convoys if your convoys get attacked I previously made a video on how to defend land convoys but I did not mention that you can send your assassin recruits to defend the convoy if you don't feel like doing it um, in that video, in the Defend Convoy video, I talk about risk percentage and all that stuff, so I'm not going to talk about that again here. But I am going to say that when your convoy gets attacked, and you get that little pop-up message in the upper right-hand corner of the screen right here, that you can just open your recruit menu, open the contract menu, and then on the bottom right, you can see that there is a... Um, uh, prompt that you can just press the X button immediately to assign recruits to defend your convoy. Again, you need to pay attention to the risk percentage up here. I do. I like to send my recruits on missions where the risk, per, where the uh, success rate is 90% or higher. I don't like uh, under 90% because I don't like to waste my time on failed missions. But uh, you can assign whatever recruits you want 
And then when you're done, you can um, def you can send them out to defend the convoy. They will gain experience, they'll gain money, and they sometimes will gain um, another type of item after the convoy is defended. Now how long it takes them to defend the convoy depends. I've had ones where it takes two minutes, I've had ones where it takes ten minutes. So it's really difficult to determine how long it will take unless you just look at the menu and see for yourself. After your recruits defend the convoy, you can just, uh, you can see the pop-up messages right here, and you can just open up your, uh, recruit tab, and you can see all, uh, all the rewards that your recruits got from defending your convoy. Thank you very much. Make sure you turn on your annotations and click the previous and next button so that you can see my other part of my recruit guides. And thank you very much for watching. This video is part of TGN's Way Movement, a career path in video. For more info, check out my channel or go to TGN.TV.